pressure on them. Yeah. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Two shots to the head. That's what I call an extra bonus. Woo. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Pin from Sick Humor TV, and uh, I'm back, man. Uh, I think I think the one thing that we can all agree on, right, at this point in time, uh, is that gaming is in a great place. Um, all the games as a service stuff aside, all of the milking franchises, you know, all of that stuff aside, I, I think we can all agree that games are bigger and better than they have ever been before. Some of the things that I see in games uh, nowadays, I would have never fathomed or never imagined that we would be getting this level of quality in the gaming space. And I can truly say that I am one that is proud to be a gamer at this point in time. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about today. There's a lot of topics that I want to hit on today. And I just really want to get a lot of feedback and reaction in the comment section. And I want to start some type of um, dialogue, you know? Okay, so during one of my podcasts, there was a segment. And I don't think anybody really understood where I was going with this so I decided that I would you know hone in on this particular section of the podcast so one of the major things that I said is that there has to be some sort of correlation between um mental disability and loot boxes and let me just kind of expound upon what I what I meant right okay so first and foremost I believe that any addi any addiction is some form of a ment mental illness right now I know this is a crazy topic because not a lot of people want to find a correlation between the two, but there's most certainly a correlation between the two, man. Um, most people are being manipulated with these games, and and that's fair to say. Um, a lot of people are not very logical thinkers when it comes to what they're spending their money and time on. Uh, they just kind of dive into it uh, if if they see or if it symbolizes something that resembles fun to them, right? Now. I believe that any person who is a gambler, right, any person who is willing to potentially put their life, put their well-being, put everything at risk for the chance of winning the big pot, so to speak, I think something is mentally wrong with them, right? You, you, you cannot look at this you know, from an objective standpoint and totally disagree with the point that I'm making here. The point that I'm making here is if you are willing to put yourself in that position, I don't believe a rational thinker. I don't believe somebody who is not someone who suffers from mental illness would do such a thing because you're putting a lot at risk. I've seen people lose their homes. I've seen people lose everything. I've seen somebody who actually worked with me. He literally slept in a U-Haul for months because he had a very serious gambling addiction and he could not maintain a actual home. This is the reason why I say that there has to be some correlation between the two. I'm not directly saying that gaming is a mental illness, no. But the amount of gaming that is done and the amount of money that is spent on gaming has ruined lives, has ruined people's actual home lives. And that's the thing. I think if you were a, if you were somebody who is of sound mind, you would never be in that position. Why? Because you would be like, you know what? Taking care of the home first is the most important thing. You know what I mean? Um, gambling away your life savings in hopes of winning the big pot. That's the dream of Americans. That's the reason why people play the lottery, but they always say one thing, play responsibly. Play responsibly. 
why are these games as a service games making as much money as they're making when the only thing that they're offering at this point in time for the most part is skins things that do not matter in the real scheme of things in the real scheme of things loot boxes you cannot tell me that loot boxes is not a form of gambling loot boxes in a nutshell is you going and opening a box in hopes of getting a particular or particular items is that not what it is you don't open a loot box you don't pay for a loot box because you just want any old thing if you opened a loot box and all you got was uncommon items you would be pissed why because you're not opening the loot boxes to get common items you're opening the loot box to get rare items to get legendary items to get things that other people do not have if that's not the case then why would you even pay for loot boxes but my main point here and i don't want to you know go off course too much but my main point here is that for somebody to sit back and spend hundreds even thousands of dollars on loot boxes there has to be some form of mental illness there either that or they have absolutely no knowledge of cash and finance or I guess there's always a third choice, right? A third choice is they have more cash than common sense. That could be one too, right? Right? We could all agree that that could be a thing, right? But I highly doubt, I highly doubt that people are putting this much money into games just because they want to get all of these common items. I would, I would imagine that when you open up a loot box, it's the, the sole purpose is for to, to get a chance at getting rare or legendary items, right? Something that is extremely uncommon. Am, am I not right in saying that? Um, but once again, I mean, like I said, I've seen people who have, you know, played MMOs and things like that and have spent so much money into these games, invested so much money into these games that it started to cross over and affect their home lives those people have to suffer from some sort of mental illness for that to be a thing for that to be a thing i'm sorry it just has to be it has to be here's another thing right this is the this is the question that i've always asked why play a game right why even buy a game if you don't want to play the game another microtransaction scheme is to help you boost and not have to actually play the game for you to be able to buy all the items in the game without actually putting in time now the last time i checked playing a game is the sole purpose of why we buy these games it makes absolutely no sense for you to buy a game and then spend hundreds of dollars just so you don't have to play the game like what the fuck have we come as a gaming community why have we why have we gotten into this particular space why have we gotten into this particular space and of course i don't blame the businesses i don't blame the companies at all why because if you're willing to spend this money i'm willing to take this money from you that's just how the game goes you know what i'm saying so i have nothing against the corporations that are even trying to push this shit one one example i know that anthem the game that you see on screen right now i know that anthem is going to have a shit ton of cosmetic microtransactions involved in this game but i'm looking forward to this game just look at this game this game looks amazing everything from the flight with the jetpacks and stuff to the foliage everything in this game looks amazing the combat looks amazing the shooting looks amazing but i do know that they're going to sell stuff and I do know that people are going to buy things and no I'm not watching your pockets I don't care about your pockets I don't care about how much money you have okay 
let's get that out of the way now because I know a lot of comments are gonna come up and they're gonna be like well why do you care what people spend their money on well because the way you spend your money is starting to affect the way I play my games that's the reason why I have a problem with it that's the reason why I have a problem with it me I'm somebody who I work a full-time job I work a full-time job so I know what it's like to not have as much time to play games but you know what I do I play the games when I have time that's what I do there's no such thing as not having time to play games because if you have time to sit in fucking podcasts for 18 million hours if you have time to sit on Twitter for 30 million hours you know talking shit about games then you have the fucking time to actually put into playing these fucking games that's what I'm saying but you're giving off the signal and not just a couple of people, a lot of people is giving off the signal that we would rather skip playing the game. We would rather skip playing the game because we don't have time to play the game. If you don't have time to play the game, then don't fucking play the game. But now all of this money that you guys are willing to throw at these games are now affecting people who would much rather play the game. I would much rather play the game i get more i get more of a feeling of success out of playing the game and excelling in the game i listen i'm one of the people who i'm just getting around to playing monster hunter world i'm just getting around to playing monster hunter world and do you think even if i had the ability to do you think i would put i would pay to skip through the actual game fuck no but there's people out there who will skip actually playing the game and a game that lets you do that is battlefield battlefield actually had acceleration packs and 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 packs that promoted hey if you don't have enough time to play the game then you know you can just pay this money and then you can accelerate i mean come on dog like fuck out of here dog like that's that's why i say that we're just in a weird space right now I mean, we're in a great space for games. We're in a great time. Games are looking better than they ever have. Games are playing better than they ever have. And don't give me that shit, man. Games are playing better than they ever have. But games are now being looked at, not as games, but entry points for recurring, reoccurring spending revenue. <sighs> I mean, I just don't understand the logic in this. I don't understand it behind Fortnite. I don't understand it behind Player Unknown's Battleground. I don't even understand it with H1Z1, but I see it in every one of these games. They're turning these games into services that you have to pay a monthly fucking fee for. Do you not see what's happening? do you not see what's happening and that's fine because i don't play the battle royale genre but i see this stuff spilling over look at look at uh tomb raider the amount of microtransactions and shit in tomb raider should not exist it should not exist but it's there it's there it's there because they know people will be tempted to buy this shit it's there and now they make the game harder to play to further entice you to buy these microtransactions if you guys don't see this as a problem if you guys don't see this as a problem i don't know when you'll ever see this shit as a problem i don't understand how you could not see this as a problem you got people playing less and less games nowadays because why every game is turning into a damn service now this is another thing that i was saying previously too i said look if every game turns into a service it is going to make it hard to be a game developer that develop niche titles why because now everybody is going to strive to make the game that is the most popular at the moment look at cliffy b cliffy b made a game and it was similar to overwatch got crushed cliffy b made a game that was similar to fortnite <laughs> radical heights it got crushed and now cliffy b is on in high he's on a hiatus right now he's not making games he doesn't realize why his games failed his games did not fail because they were bad games his games failed because he didn't 
differentiate the game enough. He didn't give the game enough personality to sway people to get into his game. Stop making games like what other people are making and make your own great content. That's the problem that we have in gaming. That's the problem that I wanna see rectified. I generally love gaming and probably will love gaming for the rest of my life. My kids love gaming. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't want it to be a situation where my kids think in order to play a game, you have to constantly throw money at it. I don't believe that that's the way that kids should have grown up playing games. That is the time that, that those are the times that we're in right now, right? Those are the times that we're in right now. Gamers are being conditioned at this point to accept this fuckery and going going into the future i believe that i probably will stop gaming and the reason why i will stop gaming is because gaming gaming is no no longer catering to me it's no longer catering to the hardcore gamer it's all about how much money we can milk out of you it's all about how much you know bullshit you will accept and it's becoming strikingly clear that people will accept a ton of bullshit and even make excuses for the bullshit so with that being said, what I will say is, I do believe that there's a direct correlation between mental illness, gambling, and video games, right? I don't believe that the people who are spending these mass amounts of monies in these games are of sound mind. I, I just, I, I, I just can't believe it. You know, no disrespect to anybody who loves shelling out money to skip games. Shout out to you. You know what I mean? You're earning these companies billions and billions of dollars a year, and you're letting them know that you will continue to do so. But I do believe that there is a correlation. Um, I do think that Anthem is going to be a great game. I think that a lot of people should pick this game up because this game is looking phenomenal. Yes, it has a little bit of Destiny aspects in it, but at the same time, it looks a lot better than Destiny to me. Hopefully the missions don't get stale like in destiny hopefully it doesn't feel like you're doing the same shit over and over and over hopefully they actually build a great community and the developers actually support this game the way they should hopefully they put events in the game that people can actually look forward to playing hopefully they don't push microtransactions out of the ass hopefully this game does not have loot boxes i know they said it won't have loot boxes but you can't trust these developers bro you cannot fucking trust them. Let's stop playing like you can. Um, but that's just my rant, man. That's just, that's just my rant right there. I mean, I know I didn't have a real clear, concise uh, path to my rant this go around. But it's just a lot of stuff that was on my mind, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This your boy Pan from Sick Humor TV. And I am out. Deuces.